Hello and welcome to this packed publishing course. My name is Atindr Chaturvedi and I will be your guide through this course. I am a VMware certified advanced professional in data center administration and also a VMware certified advanced professional in data center design and because of my interest and background in networking I also hold the VCP6 for network virtualization and for cloud computing in the VMware environment. My background is in networking and so I hold a Cisco certified network professional certification in data center as well as a Cisco certified network professional in routing and switching. So I understand how the data center equipment interacts very intimately with the virtualization environment that is provided by uh, vSphere. So let's talk about the course content. So in terms of the audience for this course, this is an advanced course and the expectation is that the folks that are doing this course have at least a vSphere foundations level of knowledge or equivalent experience. So we are not going to be talking about basic VMware concepts such as the VMFS or the hypervisor type 1s and so on. So even basic installation of an ESXi hypervisor is uh, assumed. A second important point to understand is that vSphere 6.5 is a minor or a dot release upgrade but it is still version 6.x so when vSphere was released it was version 6.0 there were some updates came up to vSphere 6.0 update 2 and then vSphere 6.5 was released in late October of 2016. But it does not mean that vSphere 6.5 changes everything in vSphere 6. There are advanced capabilities and new capabilities that have been added to vSphere 6.5. There have been some under the cover changes especially in storage that have been made. There is a new uh, VMFS uh, version 6 uh, file system as an example and there have been uh, there has been a lot of tuning that has been done as well but it doesn't mean that if you're running a vSphere 6.5 environment that any knowledge of vSphere 6.0 is wasted and the reason for it is very simple after all this is still vSphere version 6 so in this course we will cover the vSphere 6.5 major changes that are specific only to vSphere 6.5. So we are going to cover upgrades from vSphere version 6.0 to vSphere 6.5. We will cover the advanced ways of doing that. We also will be covering the vCenter server appliance version 6.5 that has some excellent capabilities uh, including new ones that have been integrated into it such as the update manager. We will cover that in great detail. Also, we will look at the vCenter server appliance version 6.5's uh, capability of uh, being fault tolerant or the right word actually is high availability uh, because uh, now there's a way of which is integral to uh, the vCenter server appliance where high availability for the environment is provided which is very different from before. So again, there are extensive labs uh, for this. I also include material that is common to vSphere 6.0 through vSphere 6.5 simply because as I've said before just because there is vSphere 6.5 doesn't mean that everything has changed or that anything that was valid for 6.0 is not valid in fact vSphere 6.5 being a minor or dot release upgrade basically builds on the major changes that came in version 6 that were initially released in version 6.0. Now a word about the actual topics in this course. So this course is focused on practical data center requirements. What that means is this. Based on my experience in working in the data center both on the networking side as well as on the virtualization side as well as in managing uh, data centers, I realized that there are certain aspects that are not really covered very well in the training that is normally provided. So for example, uh, backup and recovery and, and, rest, and uh, restore of uh, vSphere deployments is a very, very important subject. It is not very flashy, but it requires an attention to detail. And when things go bad, 
it is the only way to be able to come back online as fast as is humanly possible only if one has paid attention to it ahead of time so as an example the section on backup and recovery of vSphere deployments is very extensive and i've covered ground using labs that is very rarely covered if ever so because of this focus on practical data center requirements this course is essentially lab based so 90% of this course content is lab based in fact the most powerpoints that you'll probably see in any given section is in this introductory video so having said that 90 plus percent of course content is lab based and that practical data center focused topics have been selected i have as i explained earlier provided a detailed exploration of key data center operations uh, topics and we are going to use version 6.5 and the compatible version 6.0 content because after all this is version 6.x and although version 6.5 is covered as we said before version 6.5 while it adds on new capabilities it doesn't mean that the previous capabilities are not there and even that has to be covered uh, especially from a viewpoint of the practicality of using this material in a real live operational data center in this section i will introduce you to the course content so let's take a look at the course outline this course has 11 self-contained sections which means that as we are assuming you have experience working in a vSphere environment you should be able to go into any one of those sections in which you have an interest in and get a very deep exposure to the topics that are contained within it so while we do have an introduction to vSphere 6.5 and vSphere 6.5 CLI in section 1, uh, we will then be covering the advanced features of uh, vSphere 6 networking. We look at how to work with vSphere 6 virtual machines. We will cover some advanced uh, storage aspects in uh, vSphere 6, uh, such as the uh, NFS 4.1. Uh, we will then look at uh, backup and recovery of vSphere 6 uh, deployments. In uh, great detail, we will cover uh, the vSphere replication appliance as well as the uh, vSphere data production appliance. We will look at the advanced vSphere 6 uh, security in great uh, detail as well as some of the new aspects that are there as part of the vSphere 6 uh, deployment, including the uh, platform services controller. We will then uh, move on to how to manage, uh, how to manage uh, and administer vSphere 6 resources. Uh, we will go into the availability solutions that have been released with the new vSphere uh, 6.5, uh, including your uh, update manager um, integrations as well as the uh, SMP uh, fault tolerance. And of course, as the course is, is very extensively lab-based, uh, we're going to cover the actual high availability features that are now available with the vCenter server appliance version 6.5. We will look at uh, deploying and consolidating a vSphere 6.5 uh, data center, all the aspects of that, and uh, of course how to upgrade your deployment to a vSphere 6.5 environment. We will then uh, end the course in sec with section 11, which is uh, troubleshooting vSphere 6.x, and in there I cover uh, some topics around uh, advanced uh, networking as well as some uh, other aspects of vSphere again which are not uh, conventionally uh, covered in courses but uh, as this course is a very practical course I have found it extremely useful in uh, actual data center deployments uh, to be familiar with these uh, troubleshooting uh, tools so with that covered we will then move on to the next video which is introduction to vSphere 6.5 I look forward to seeing you there